if you have a bank account and you keep all of your money in the bank or your bank is that a smart thing to do I've asked this question to several people that I know and even people that I don't know do you trust banks some have responded no you can't trust banks others responded yes that's where I keep my money and then I follow with another question do you believe in putting all of your money in your bank or financial institution everything that you have got a mixed answer again from several people no I don't one individual told me that they still keep their money under the mattress and uh, others say well I do trust the bank with my money because it's safe there okay now mind you here in recent months there was a bank institution Silicon Valley to be more specific that failed and there was a run on the bank and people were coming to try to take their money out did that work no to no avail most of them I venture to say uh, the vast majority of them could not get their money out when they wanted to and it reminds me of the home state uh, savings incident many years ago where there was a situation where people couldn't get their money because the bank had failed just through those out there in our history they're not the only two financial institutions that that's happened to now we can chart all types of reasons why there was no liquidity and people couldn't get their money out we, we know about um, fractional lending this this sort of thing and the banks don't have to keep all of its depositors money on hand because they don't believe that everybody's going to come at the same time and take their money out for the most part but that should be enough to say if this could happen to these two institutions for example Silicon Valley and the other bank that I mentioned then why couldn't it happen to me why wouldn't it happen to me I personally speaking to you don't believe in putting as the old expression goes all my eggs in one basket I believe that we should be more intelligent with that which we possess rather trust someone outside of us a third party with our investments with our savings our life savings now someone said uh, not too long ago well it depends on how much money you have if you are well to do and you have a lot of money a millionaire you probably won't have a problem with the banks if you have millions of dollars in the bank versus the average person who doesn't have that much money in the bank in other words they can see a person who's wealthy not having a problem keeping all of their money in that financial institution but a poor person may not want to do that well that's interesting uh, I believe that the banks uh, are there for a specific reason and it is for them to make money from us the consumers and then giving us the least in return if you agree with that raise your hand right now if you're sitting there listening if you believe that the bank wants to benefit from us financially and give us very little in return for their services what do they give to you what are their services they offer loans home loans car loans and so forth and 
you can purchase uh, cashier's checks you can do wire transfers uh, you can get personal loans as well and uh, you can get change uh, to carry on your daily activities uh, if you are a business a place to keep your money safe to some degree and you can get change for your business and carry on business transactions between you and the bank I mean it can be a credit card service that you might have at your your business such as I do and you can use a bank for that but the bank is always going to benefit from us above and beyond what we benefit from them and I'm sure many of you are familiar with the interest rates that they're offering us so readily usually less than one percent but did you not know and I've said this before banks make money from us hand over fist through loans interest and through fees and then they invest our money while we're getting less than one percent now there have been a few that have surfaced over the years that are giving a little bit more than one percent interest on an interest bearing account but that's not what I'm talking about at the moment but just write that under your thumb should you put all of your money in the bank I'm not telling you what to do with yours if that's what you believe that you should do uh, that's your prerogative I don't believe for the simple fact uh, if something were to happen to the bank and everything that you have is in that bank or that institution you could have a very difficult time retrieving your money as did the people who experienced the banks failing in history past even more recent history so I don't want to be in a situation where my money is being held up by some institution and I have no control and I don't have access to my money if I had everything there so it would be my advice to anyone use the banks or savings institutions very minimally if you want to transact business uh, if you need money orders, uh, if you want a checking account, but don't keep everything that you have in the bank. Because if peradventure, by chance, something were to happen and that bank failed, you're stuck, at least for the moment. And some people never got their money back from some of these institutions. Never got their money back at all. Hmm. Would you be one of those likely people? In the future if it were to happen to you so again use a bank this is me minimally just enough to keep the account open and maybe put your money in other vehicles maybe have more than one bank maybe have uh, even an online bank and maybe keep some liquid cash somewhere that you don't tell everybody about maybe invest in some gold and some silver and put that away somewhere I'm being very cautious in how I present this because everybody's listening and everybody's watching and everybody is not nice and everybody does not have our best interest at heart so read between the lines if it seems to be a riddle that I just gave you it's really not just think don't put everything that you own in terms of value in one place find someone that you trust really trust not just on the surface I mean truly trust it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be an associate but make sure that that person is tried and true and get together with them if something were to happen to you in the future your resources are protected that was it and that was all if you have any questions for me please put your questions in the comment section below if you want to talk to me privately about matters 
topics such as this, reach out, and I'll make it happen. Brother Teacher, so long.